Hey everyone, Derek here with day two of my Pokemon Go journal. Uh, a little late tonight because, well, I spent most of the day making that tips and tricks video for Pokemon Go. Ironically, I couldn't play Pokemon Go because I was making a video about Pokemon Go. But that's the way it, well, goes. <laughs> so, the thing is, I went last night after I did my journal to just walk around and see what Pokemon I could find. And I didn't really find too many except for one exception. I actually found a Ghastly in the middle of the night, in the middle of the park. And I gotta say, with his design, the way he billows and everything else, he's actually kind of freaky at night. It, it's kind of, it's cool. I have not seen one since it, so it's gonna be pretty tricky to level him up, but that was pretty much the only major thing that happened last night. However, for tonight's little excursion to find more Pokemon, I decided to get in my car and drive to the local movie theater to just see what I could find, to see if I can see find a place with a lot of Pokestops. And unfortunately, it didn't have any, and for some reason, I noticed on the way there, movie theaters are not Pokestops, yet restaurants are. Two different restaurants, smaller restaurants, are poke stops and for some reason restaurants are always aren't always the most stable places I mean I mean these places have been around for a while so maybe but I just found it kind of interesting that the movie theater wasn't but the restaurants were go figure but the thing is I did find a lot of Pokemon at the movie theater I actually found a drowsy in the parking lot and as I was heading towards the theater completely separate from Pokemon and I didn't really didn't fully realize it's a Friday night because my sense of days are kind of screwed up sometimes. I had four guys in a truck. Apparently they were they were just driving around the parking lot over and over again and I got freaking catcalled. Not you know, not the typical way that women do, but I still had these guys like calling out to me like saying something about my shirt and then I watched them do the same thing to other people. And I'm like, "Oh, goody." You know, it's always it's it's I've seen it before, I haven't seen it in a while, I do not enjoy seeing it, but it kind of is like, uh, just leave me alone and let me play Pokemon Go. <laughs> so the funny thing is, is while that was all going on, I noticed that there was a Pikachu on my map. And I got really, ex really excited because, well, it's Pikachu, <laughs> you know, that's sort of the mascot Pokemon, so to be able to get that is really cool. And unfortunately, as soon as I tried to catch him, the game crashed. So, I lost out on him, and if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me tweet out about that, and yeah, lost him. So I'm like, well, this is a bust of a night, not gonna have too much to say about the, say about the game in the journal. So I was going to hop back in my car, and I checked out just one last time, reloaded it all, all and all that, and it worked fine. So I took my car from where I, dro where I parked before, and drove it to where, right, right, about, right, right about round where I found the Pikachu before, and parked nearby, and lo and behold, I got out, went there again, there was the Pikachu, and I caught him this time. So I have myself a Pikachu, which is very cool. I also found just a lot of, found a lot of Pidgeys, found a lot of Weedles, found a lot of uh, Cater, uh, not really Caterpies, but a couple other things here and there. I actually found a Paris in the uh, parking lot as well, and it was really cool just to find all that stuff, uh, and some Pokemon that I didn't have before to sort of fill out my decks. And I decided after that, I was like, okay, let's, let's go try somewhere else. So I went to the nearby mall, which of course was closed at the time. Not a single Pokestop anywhere, which blew my mind. I, didn't re I found a couple Pokemon in the parking lot, but there re really wasn't a whole lot there. So I decided to go to the other movie theater in town. And I parked in, that, in there for, and took a look. And lo and behold, as I looked down, there's an Abra. And I'm like, super excited. And I'm like, oh sweet, I could, you know, catch an Abra. So I get out of my car, go to follow it, immediately lose its trail. I couldn't find it. I, I, I must have circle, circled that place a couple times, trying to find this Abra and nothing. It literally used teleport and, and got away. It really feels like that. So it was kind of a bust. And the funny thing is, at that point, I realized, oh crap. I'm almost out of gas, so fortunately I made it to a gas station, found a couple other very common Pokemon, but of course captured them all, uh, because, well, I captured enough Pidgeys that I was able to evolve my Pidgeotto into a Pidgeot, or Pidgeot. I really don't know which was the proper way to pronounce uh, its name. I've heard it both ways so many times, and everybody has their own way to say it. 
At any rate, I finally have my first fully evolved Pokemon, Pidgeot. So that's really cool. And I start walking around and decide to just circle around the kind of small shopping area around this other theater. And nothing's really popping up at all, so I decided to just walk up around this other section where there's a couple restaurants, and I just noticed that one was open. The crazy thing about it is that I found a store that I never even knew existed. Because I just, well, one, I don't get out of the house much, two, I don't go to that shopping area much, but, you know, it just made me go up and around. And lo and behold, I found a board game cafe. So you can actually buy board games there, you can buy coffee and you know, it's a typical cafe, but you can also play the board games before you buy them. And it's a really cool little place because, you know, I have fun with board games. I have a lot of friends that enjoy board games. So to find that through Pokemon Go was just kind of funny. And I actually saw a Rattata in there, saw a Caterpie in there. It was, you know, it was, it was pretty fun. And then I walked down and I tried one more time to see if I could pick up the trail of this Abra and got nothing. However, I did find a Meowth. So I caught a Meowth. So again, brand new Pokemon to add to the list. It, it, it all kind of worked out, but by that point I'd been out and about for a little while. I was like, okay, probably should have start heading home. My battery's getting, starting to get a little low. Let's go home. And, and I decided that before I, though well, my last stop before I go is that because I had some more powerful Pokemon at this point, let's take over this one gym that's near me and try to actually hold it now since I actually have some relatively powerful Pokemon. Uh, as far as CP is, con is concerned. And I discovered that somebody on, my, on the Team Blue had already taken it. So I just immediately popped on a uh, Pokemon and took it over, collected my 10 coins. Speaking of which, as soon as you get a gem, immediately go to the shop and collect your coins. That is uh, very key because I did not realize at that point. I probably could have gotten more coins, but I honestly kind of forgot where I collected the coins. I thought it was on my trainer profile. It's not. You have to go into the shop in order to collect your coins. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to maintain that. But the funny thing is, is while I was driving there and like sitting there getting ready to take over the gym, I encountered two different Pokemon. One was another Pikachu. I was able to catch it. Awesome. The other was a Hypno. I came across a Hypno, which I don't see many evolved Pokemon now. To see it just come across a Hypno and being able to actually catch it was pretty cool. So now I have a Hypno. And so, okay, I'm done with my Pokemon collecting for the night. Time to go back and do my journal. And as I'm driving back to my place, I come across, I see three guys in the middle of the night with their phones all out and I knew immediately that they were playing Pokemon Go as well. And I just sort of, I'm at a stop sign, see them, raise up my phone to show that I'm playing Pokemon Go as well, and then pull off to the side in order to park because it's just late at night and there's nobody really around. And we just start talking and I find out that they're the ones I've been fighting with at the one gym at the corner, the ones that keep taking it. And they have it now and they are bolstering that thing like crazy so they don't lose it. It is insane. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll ever get the gem. We even actually came across to a pact like, okay, you guys you guys can keep this one. I'm probably never going to be able to take it. Just give me the one that I just got to hold in and hopefully, you know, we can be okay <laughs> and work out. But the funny thing is, as soon as I got out of the car to say hi, they were like, there's a ride on nearby. And I'm like, what? So I get over to them where they were at. And sure enough, there's a ride on on my screen. I tap it and was able to catch it. The funny thing is it has like, had like a really low CP, so it was pretty easy to catch. Other, the, a couple of the others found a pretty high level CP ones. One guy was taking a while to catch it, but I actually learned quite a bit from these guys uh, because they've been playing quite, they've been playing a lot because they live nearby. As I suspected, these, these, these guys live very close by. It's very easy for them to maintain control and it's, it's been interesting. So, I was incorrect in the CP of Pokemon. I said that the, when I revolved my Pidgey into a Pidgeotto, I didn't notice a difference in the CP at all. Like, I didn't move along the lines or anything like that. However, there is potential in your Pokemon depending on how much you raise up their CP along that line. They, because they talked about how they've seen online people that have Vaporeons at over a thousand CP. And the way you do that is you really need to push up. Like, you, if you want to have a very powerful Pokemon, and are not, and you're not, and it's more you want to take control of gyms more than collecting all the Pokemon right away. You want to 
put up your CP as much as possible. The higher it is when they before they evolve, the more potential they have after they evolve. And I actually saw a little bit of sign of this myself when I uh, evolved another Pokemon, and I forget what the other Pokemon I evolved was. Nothing too major, but oh no, it was when I evolved Pidgeotto into Pidgeot. That's when I noticed the major difference. And I'm like, okay, so depending on whether or not I need to do this or not, I need to decide whether I'm going to up their CP before I evolve them, or if I just want to mark it in my Pokedex as soon as possible. So, we, it was fun, you know, even though we were on different teams, we still talked, we still showed what we were after, compared notes about where, what we found and where we found it, and uh, I realized this on the drive home, but the, next, the town next to mine actually has a ton of Pokestops around it. So next time I go out on a little excursion like this, I'm going to go there and stop by the Pokestops because here's the problem I'm running into right now. I am running super low on Pokeballs. I am down to about 35, I think, which is not good. <laughs> so the other, the cool, the cool, it was cool, you know, is is funny to compare notes. It's interesting to, uh, talking to them about capturing gyms and uh, those aspects. It brought me something I did not expect, which is a sense of community. Yeah, we were on rival teams, but we were still having fun together, you know, talking with each other and just hanging out. It was a really cool experience, and I can't say, I mean, I can't say I expected that. Uh, the game has proven itself to be a little bit more addictive than I imagined, and it really is because you have to catch a lot of Pokemon, to evolve your Pokemon, which is something I want to do. I want to complete the Pokedex, at least as best as I can, because there's still certain Pokemon I have not seen at all yet, and I want to take control of gyms. I want to have a foothold, and I think that that competitive aspect of gyms really is a thing, and now I'm actually looking at, okay, I need to have a solid team, because the biggest move of the night was actually the thing I did first, uh, before I went on my little excursion, and that's the fact that I actually found the last EV I needed in order to evolve it into either Va Vaporeon, Flareon, or Jolteon. It is completely random which one you get, so I wasn't sure which one it was going to be, and it turned out that I got Vaporeon. And in honor of my Nuzlocke run, I decided to change its name to Vui. So, I have a Vaporeon now. It is by far my strongest Pokemon. I believe it's around 400 CP off the top of my head, and then I have about four other Pokemon at least above 200. So, I definitely want to build up a team of consistently around four, four to 400 or more uh, CP Pokemon before I start going on a tear and I'm going to try to take over as many gyms as I can, or at least install my Pokemon in, into as many gyms as I can, because that's the only way you earn money, and the problem I'm running into is I'm running out of Pokeballs. I'm down to about 30, I think, I might have already said this, I can't quite remember, but I'm down to so little, and I'm like, oh man, I'm either going to have to spend money or the, on this, or I need more gems right away, because I still only have 20 gold at the moment. I could probably have had more, but I didn't, because I didn't realize, so we're gonna, I'm going to have to work on this and try to take over as many as I can. It, it, it's hitting that competitive aspect, because it's, now my money's on the line, <laughs> you know, if I want to keep going, I want to keep, I want to get to that point. That is, you know, that's pretty much everything I encountered so far with day two of Pokemon Go. It felt, I wasn't on it as much, but it felt like other than that one time with the Pikachu, the servers were a lot more stable today. Maybe they're finally working on it. I don't know. I'm still hearing some people having a lot of troubles. Uh, but the best thing I can tell, tell you is if you have the ability, the best place to go for Pokestops, college campuses. I actually had a friend, I've talked to a friend who has also got into Pokemon Go, and they work near a college campus, and they said there are Pokestops everywhere. So, definitely check those out, and, you know, I'm surprised I did not expect myself to be hooked on it this much. Killed my battery, that little excursion, which I think took me about eh, two, three hours. By the time I got home, I had 10% battery left after a full charge. So, yeah, it's, it still drains like crazy, but I felt like it was pretty productive. So with all that said, thank you guys for watching, and of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Pokemon, including more journals and other things gaming as well. Alright guys, bye.